For the first time in decades, the free application for federal student aid, better known as FAFSA, underwent a major change, and that has led to some headline-making challenges all year. Yeah, upwards of 30% of the new FAFSA forms have errors. And that's on top of the major delays in communications to universities across the country, which is holding up financial aid packages for thousands of students and families. But in tonight's Your Money Matters, South Dakota's largest university says there is one upside to celebrate in these major FAFSA changes. Technology and technology systems are incredibly complex, and so anytime you change to a brand new system, it's going to have some growing pains. We have to expect that. Michaela Willis, SDSU's Vice President of Student Affairs and Enrollment, says the growing pains with the new federal student aid application continue to delay many student aid offers. It has taken a little bit longer to get all of the information from the new FAFSA and get it into college and university hands. So we we do anticipate in the next month, month and a half, we should start seeing more of those financial aid packages rolling out. Despite the challenges, she says the new FAFSA application did get something right. It did what it was supposed to do, and that is to simplify the process for students and families. I said on the website it was going to take about an hour, and it took me and my dad 20 minutes. Incoming freshman Gracie Peterson says she watched several of her friends spend hours filling out FAFSA forms last year and could see the changes firsthand in the new application. I think it was a lot easier. Um, the way that the questions were were laid out a lot more simply than they were before. Filling it out, it, was, it wasn't really confusing. I feel like it was pretty straightforward. Sioux Falls Roosevelt senior Zoe Brown is one of the lucky few who has already received her financial aid package from SDSU after submitting the new FAFSA application in early January. I had checked it early April, so probably late March it got back, and it was pretty good information on it. Giving Willis some hope that the new FAFSA system will work out for the best once it gets through all of the growing pains. <laughs> Has it rolled out smoothly? No, but we will get there, and next year will be even that much smoother. Willis says about 90% of SDSU students fill out the FAFSA and receive some form of student aid. Nationally, FAFSA applications are down more than 30% as students and parents face the uncertainty of the changes. Willis encourages anyone who hasn't filled it out yet to take 15 minutes to submit their FAFSA before the start of the fall semester.